So let's look at doing a war problem where we get to use the Pythagorean theorem. So the length of the hypotenuse is two meters longer than one of the legs. The other leg is eight meters long, and I want to know how long is the hypotenuse. Well, I think what would be good for us to do here is to draw a diagram, draw a picture. So since I'm talking about a right triangle, and I know that I am because it's talking about the word hypotenuse, you're not going to have that unless you are talking about the right triangle. The length of the hypotenuse is two meters longer than one of the legs. So we've got a problem with that. I, I don't know what one of the legs is, right? So I've got some guy that's unknown. So if I do this, if I let x equal the length of, we should say, the unknown leg. So that means this is x. And how does the hypotenuse connect to that? How do I write that? What does it say about the hypotenuse? How do we write two meters longer than that? Two x. That's twice. That's not two more than. If I say you get paid two dollars more than me, that doesn't mean you get paid twice as much as me. Two plus blah blah. Well, it'd be better for us to say, since we've got the phrase more than, for us to say x plus two. Because it, if it had said less than, you wouldn't say two minus, you would say x minus two. Okay. And then it says the other leg. So there is somebody we know, and this guy is eight. Do you all agree? Yes. Well, we want to know how long is the hypotenuse. So what we're first going to have to do is figure out what is x, and then use that to get my x plus 2. Now, for me to do this, I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem, right? Now, the Pythagorean theorem sets up like this. It says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Do you all agree? But I'm going to be replacing this stuff with what I have. So that means x squared plus my b, my other leg, is 8. So 8 squared equals x plus 2 quantity squared. Do you all agree? So what is x squared? Good job, that's x squared. 8 squared is? Now I'm squaring a binomial just like I did in the last chapter, so make sure you square this correctly. What do you get? X plus four. If you say x squared plus 4, then you are completely wrong. You must remember that when you are squaring a binomial, it was not a squared plus b squared. It was a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So not only do we get x squared and 4, that's just the first and the last pieces. I've got a middle piece here, which is 2 times a times b. So if I look at x times 2, which is my ab, what do I get? 2x, but I'm supposed to double that according to the formula. Because we know that if we were to FOIL that, we'd get 2x not just once, but twice. And so we have 4x. Again, if you don't believe that, you could take x plus 2 squared and FOIL that out on the side. I'm not going to because we have our special products that we're supposed to know. Now, this looks like a quadratic equation. I've got to get everybody to one side so that 0 is on the other, right? Now, watch what happens whenever I do that. When I try to move all the x squared stuff together by subtracting x squared on both sides, what happens? They cancel These become 0. These become 0. Do I have a quadratic equation anymore? I've got this guy right here. I've got that 64 equals 4x plus 4. That's not quadratic. That's linear. So if it's linear, I solve it just like I solved at the very beginning of this semester. What would I do to get x by itself? I'm going to move the 4 to the other side, so what do I get? 60, 60 equals 4x. 
divide by 4 to get x by itself, and what do we have? Six divided by four, everybody is? 15. So do I box this guy? No, I've got to make sure that I answer the question. The question says, how long is the hypotenuse? So we can say the hypotenuse is 15, right? No. No. Make sure you read what you wrote here. You said x is the length of the unknown leg. So that means that this guy right here is 15, which means the hypotenuse is what? 17. But make sure you pay attention to your units. What units are we measuring here? Mm. We're measuring in meters. So I'll we'll use this color. So we can say the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 17 meters. Now if you look at the diagram that this gives us, it gives me a right triangle where the sides are in this order, 8, 15, 17. If you look at the last page that we had, that was a Pythagorean triple, right? So always watch out for those guys. A lot of times they'll just show up, and if you know them, it makes your life really easy.